So first things first, go to Preferences, Gizmo, and select Local Coordinate. This is just going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to moving the 3D pieces around in the 3D workspace. Now go to File, Open, Project. And if you check the link in the description, I've provided this project file. So it's called Project File Female. Go ahead and open that. Click on OK, and we can get started. So now I want you to hold your left mouse button down over here, select rectangle and just left click and this box is going to pop up. Now type in 300 by 300, click on OK. Now you'll see that this box is selected and now on the right hand side under the object browser and fabric, double click over here and just name this reference, press enter and then over here by texture click on these four dots and select the mitten sewing pattern which is included with the project file. Click on open and now to scale this up, you just click on this icon over here, which is edit texture and make sure you actually left click into select this and drag diagonally until you scale it up like this. So we're only going to be drawing one of these patterns and then duplicating it. So just scale it up like this. All right. And now I'm going to make sure reference is selected and I'm actually going to decrease the opacity Then I'm going to click on add, double click over here and just name this mitten fabric. Press enter and I'm going to make this a darker gray and I'm also going to reduce the opacity on the mitten fabric. So this will allow me to trace this pattern. I'll be able to see the image and I'll be able to see exactly what I'm tracing. So it's time to start tracing the pattern. Make sure you've got mitten fabric selected. Hold on the left mouse button and select rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle like this. And then I'm going to go to the edit pattern, select this point and just move it in and if you hold on shift you can constrain it to this line so there we go and just angle it like this and bring this point out as well now I'm going to go to this add point and in order to create this pattern I need to add two dots over here so add one dot here then another dot over here then go to edit pattern select this line and just drag it up so I'm going to drag it till about there and now I'm going to go to edit curvature and I'll be able to create this curvature and now when I go back to my edit pattern, you'll see that I have these anchor points so I can use this to alter the shape of the line. So you'll notice that the actual pattern, uh, it doesn't look completely round and that's because of the particle distance. So actually go to, edit, uh, go to transform pattern, make sure this is selected and bring the particle distance down to 10. You can do that right now. It's a pretty simple garment and that's just going to add more resolution uh, to our pattern piece and it's going to fix all of those like really bad looking uh, jagged edges. Now I can maybe angle this a little bit better and adjust these anchor points to create the shape of the thumb. Now I want to go to add point, add another point over here, go to my edit pattern and I'll be able to select this line and move it up. Now I can select this dot over here and just move this to the left and select this and move it till there should be fine. Now I need to make sure I'm adding some curvature. So just drag this up, go to my edit pattern and just try my best to match the shape. It doesn't need to be exactly the same. Uh, over here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to push this a little bit to the right. So you can see it is moving the thumb a little bit. Maybe move, move this point up just a little bit. Say until there. And just trying our best to match this pattern. Okay, so that's looking good. Okay, so congratulations, the mitten pattern is actually done. So this was the hardest part, was actually just drafting the pattern. So select that and move it out of the reference plane. We don't even need this reference plane anymore, so you can select it, delete it, and I'm also going to delete it from the object browser. Okay, so all we have to do now is just right click and create a symmetric pattern with sewing. All right, so that's going to duplicate it. Select your mitten fabric and let's bring the opacity all the way back up. So now we need to position these mittens by the hand and I'm actually going to select both patterns. Double click over here and these points will turn orange and I'm just going to make the pattern a little bit smaller. So if you really want to you can see exactly uh, what my dimen uh, the dimensions are. So like that should be fine. And then we can start positioning this on the hand. Okay, so we can see that this is our thumb pattern. So I'm going to be moving this down over here, 
rotating it like this and I'm going to make sure I'm on thin textured surface because this dark region over here is the normal and that needs to always be facing the character just so I know I have it in the correct orientation so I'm just roughly going to place it where the hand is and where the thumb needs to be so with the glove it would be a little bit trickier like if you were doing a glove that had the webbing for each finger it might be a little bit trickier to position this but since this is a mitten it's going to be very very easy uh, to actually sew and adjust onto the hand all right so with this piece put it like that And just move this here, rotate it, okay I've got my normals facing in the correct direction and move this down here. Alright so we've positioned our glove, now it's time to start sewing. So the sewing is super basic, you only need to do one segment. So if I go to my segment sewing and I just sew this piece onto this piece all I need to do now is I need to extend the sewing to go around the entire glove except for this region over here because that's obviously where the hand is going in. So to extend the sewing region I just go to my edit sewing and I'm going to select this dot and you can see I'm just clicking and dragging this all the way here until I reach this bottom point. Now I want to do the same on this side so just click and drag and there we go and make sure you don't have any sewing across this region. And that's it. Now press spacebar to simulate. Now I know that looks a little bit crazy right now because it didn't simulate exactly on the thumb. It's not an issue at all. Pull this up and there we go and just pull it over the thumb. So <laughs> how easy was that? Super super simple uh, way to create some mittens and at this point you could basically be done. You've got your mitten pattern and you've got your garment but I want to show you just how to edit this a little bit further. So I'm going to add a cuff onto this mitten and then fold that cuff onto itself. We just add some nice detail over here. So to do that I'm going to go to edit pattern, select this line, right click and go to offset pattern outline. So now I'm extending this pattern from this line at the bottom and I'm going to do that by 50. And I also want to make sure I click on create internal line, click on OK. So it's going to create an internal line right over here and this is our cuff. So select that internal line, right click and go to cut and sew. So now it cuts this piece off and it sews it back on. But I need to make sure I'm also going to my segment sewing and just sewing these two pieces together so that it actually closes the cuff region. Now press simulate and there we go. Now I want to fold this onto itself. So to do that you just go to fold arrangement, select this sewing line over here and just rotate this. Do the same for the other side and rotate that. Press spacebar to simulate and now you've got a cuff. So you can see this, this is the normal uh, that I was talking about earlier. It doesn't matter that much. I am going to add some thickness on these gloves. So to do that, I'll go to my transform pattern, select everything. Actually everything except for the cuffs. Then go to add thickness, put this on 2. And then select the cuffs and I'm going to put the cuff thickness on 4. So I want my cuffs to be a little bit thicker. And then just change this to thick textured surface. And there we go. So I think this looks way better uh, to have this this cuff region on the on the mittens just adds more detail and you can see this char character's got some really nice looking warm mittens on her hands now obviously you can fit this onto any character male or female mittens are unisex uh, but yeah there we go maybe for a male character if their hands are bigger you'll just need to select the entire pattern and just scale that up a little bit more so the other hand is obviously getting really cold right now and I'm going to duplicate this mitten and put it on the other hand. So the easiest way to do that is to select this entire pattern, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. There we go, we've duplicated our mitten. So now I just need to move it into position. So select this and move it over here. Now don't worry about the way that it's orientated. When we simulate this it will still wrap around the hand correctly. Just position one piece. So I'm going to select this first piece over here. Just position this in front of the hand in this piece over there. That should be fine and press simulate and there we go. So now we've duplicated our mitten. You can maybe help it up a little bit. 
and there we go so you can see they are really easy to create now since this is a pretty simple pattern you can select all of this and actually bring it all the way down to five so increase uh, the quality by decreasing the particle distance and you're going to see better folds you can see that it looks so much better there's some awesome folds on on these mittens right now on a particle distance of five also select your mitten fabric and play around with some different presets maybe play around with uh, cotton or you can try the nylon featherweight as well that will generate some more folds uh, but yeah there we go so now I can continue editing and modifying these mittens and I'll usually do this once I've got both gloves on my character but you'll notice over here we still have symmetric pattern with sewing so whatever I do to one side will happen to the other side and I want to break that symmetry right now so to do that I just select these pattern pieces right click and then go to remove linked editing make sure I'm doing it for the other glove as well and there we go so now I can modify them independently and I'm going to I'm going to be drawing a new pattern on here and that will allow me to maybe put a new fabric on there or a different color. So to do that, I'm going to hold on my left mouse button and select internal polygon line. And I'm going to draw on this glove over here. So starting from this dot, just draw something diagonally and then across and double click to complete the, the internal line. Now also just make sure you've got internal line selected so I can see exactly where this is. Right, then I'm going to go to smooth curve and just click and drag diagonally over here and it's going to create some curvature. Right, so that's perfect. Now I need to make sure I'm also putting this on the other glove. So if I double click over here, I'll select my internal line, press Control C, then right click and go to mirror paste. And now just line it up with this dot over here. There we go, it's snapped into place. And now I'm good to go. So I'm going to select both of these internal lines right click and go to cut and sew so it cuts that off and sews it back on now i'm going to go to my mitten fabric and copy this and i'm going to make this maybe a darker color just to show you what i mean select these pieces hold the other piece by holding down shift and just change it to the other fabric so now i can have a multi-colored mitten and you can really have a lot of fun with this by modifying it and you can see i've got the pattern on the other glove as well and now a great way to generate some extra folds on here or generate some folds that have tension on the seam is to use elastic. So you want to select all of these pattern pieces right, by holding down shift and enable elastic. So now when I press simulate, right, the elastic region is going to create some tension over here on the seam. But right now this value is way too high. So I'm going to, I'm going to decrease the strength all the way down to maybe 3.4 and increase my ratio as well. So I'm going to put my ratio maybe on 97. So this is what it looks like without elasticity and with the elasticity on. It's quite subtle, but it does generate some tension. Now over here, I still want this line to go straight. You can see it's going in over here because of the elasticity. So to fix that, select these lines and remove elastic and that'll make it completely straight. So just adding a little bit more detail, you know, a little bit more realism onto our mittens by using some elastic and I'm really liking all of this bunching that's being generated by this glove or should I say the mitten sorry this is a mitten but a mitten is technically a glove right <laughs> okay and there we go so yeah you can see you can have a lot of fun just customizing this and now one last tip and this is probably one of my favorites when I'm creating garments and especially with mittens if I want them to look a lot warmer uh, I'm going to show you a really cool feature and it's also going to accentuate the seam line over here and really make it pop it's going to make this garment look really fantastic uh, but I'm going to select this and just bring this color back you can see I'm using the eyedropper tool I want it to be the exact same color all right so we're going to be using a feature called layer clone over and it basically doubles up the fabric and you'll see exactly what happens so I want to select all of these pieces and then right click and go to layer clone over and you can see it's creating a duplicate over here and when I left click it's going to place that layer clone and you're gonna see exactly what's gonna happen over here so you can see this already got a lot bigger so now when I press simulate right, I might have to help up this cuff region and just make sure it's folding over that area now this might take a little bit of a hit on your performance on your PC but just pay attention to the seam line look at how the seam line looks 
a lot more detailed and it's really popped and it, it just in my opinion looks really fantastic and the glove itself because we doubled up that fabric also looks a lot warmer so in this case with the mitten it works very very well for creating a very believable looking mitten that's going to keep your hands really warm and we did it for the other garment as well but just make sure you you know helping with the the cuffs over here and pulling them back over this piece of the mitten okay so there we go and that is just using the layer clone over and now I just also wanted to quickly mention that the way that I textured these mittens was to use some of my own products. So you can check the link in the description of the top comment. I've created 56 fabric materials. They are at 4K resolution and completely tileable. So there's a nice variety of fabric materials over here that you can use. And I've also used another product over here which is my tileable displacement patterns uh, to create uh, basically this knit pattern over here that you see on the mitten it's quite subtle but I was using two of my products and yeah go ahead check it out so this is a great way to support me as an artist and to support the channel so if you feel like you want to get some materials or some displacement patterns then I've created everything for you there's there's tutorials included as well showing you how to create your own and I feel like there's great value uh, with these products all right so that's the end of the tutorial and i can go ahead and hide my character and we can look at this glove individually and i think we've created a really nice mitten over here for our character and if you want to select everything and you can bring that all the way down to three so that's going to increase the quality and generate some new folds as well it might take a serious hit on your performance but i think it's worth the additional folds that it starts generating uh, but you can see just how simple and easy it is to create these mittens so i hope you've learned something useful from this let me know what you think down in the description below you guys are super awesome and i truly appreciate the support so much so stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye.